Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. You're new to the page, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Yesterday was my wife's uh, birthday, so I decided to take a day. Uh, though you guys know, you, you guys that are in the Patreon, you know I was working. All right, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. I'm just going to push through these allergies. Uh, listen, there's a lot going on today. Uh, earnings that are coming out. Two biggies, Netflix and um, um, Tesla after the closing bell, right? So, but for those of you that are in the, uh, the Patreon, you guys saw that there was money made already today, early this morning in the Patreon. Uh, if you're in there, go ahead and leave a, uh, a quote. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. If you're making money, if you're not, this will be the second link below in the description. The Patreon will be the second link below. Get all of the best plays from the four of us. And last but not least, if you're in the Patreon and you really even want to make even more money, uh, or you're even if you're not, just go ahead, download the Stock Up You, come join the family and learn how to trade. Uh, for those of you that's been trading since COVID, just learn what the market is. Then you'll be able to go fish for yourself. All right, good people. So let's get right into it. So um, here's what's going on right now. Uh, Dow falls more than 100 points after latest earnings. Uh, 10 year yields rise. So the 10 year is rising. Uh, here's a few of the things that's going on at the point of this recording. I'm trying not to sneeze. All right. Stocks dropped on Wednesday, which is today, as earnings seasons gained steam and Wall Street looked ahead to other key financial reports. Treasury yields climbed to multiple year highs, pressuring equities, pressuring our stocks, our dear beloved stocks. How dare you? All right. So here's what's reporting um, after closing bail. Let's let's uh, blow that up a little bit. There we go. So we have Netflix, which is the blue line, and we got Tesla, which is the yellow line. So as you could see, they are both performing poorly uh, before the earnings after the bell, right? Why are they performing poorly, right? For one thing, Morgan Stanley and Citigroup both lowered their price targets for NVIDIA. That's another thing. We'll look at that later. Let's deal with Netflix and Tesla first since they are reporting um, after the bell. So Netflix and Tesla. Let's just look at Netflix and Tesla. Now, what I like to do personally, and um, you guys that's been following me, you know what Larry does. What Larry does, first I need to say anything that I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell. What Larry likes to do is Larry likes to buy the rumor and sell the news because it works more often for Larry. You do what's best for you. Tesla, if you go back to the five day, you could clearly see what Tesla was preparing for, right? So a lot of people, they take a gamble and they try to look into the future and you try to see what the future is going to be. Uh, uh, are they making earnings? You know, um, uh, do, did they deliver more cars? We do know that Tesla is, is squeezing their margins by lowering their price so they can get market share, right? Bigger market share. But just understand this. When you're building, when you're the top dog, sometimes you have to do things like this short term for a long term gain. For those of you that say, well, why are they cutting the price? Because they want to flood the market, right? And um, it's just a tactic that does work. So now let's go back to Tesla. Here's what I do, but I didn't do this time because I've been so busy with everything else. But as you can see, it's going down, 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 down. As a matter of fact, if you look at the entire month, it's been really a negative month. So you had a bounce here, but the trend is going down. And if you look at Netflix, it's the same thing. It's been going down. But as you could see, uh, let's go back to both of them. As you could see, they're kind of been in lockstep. You see that? Then the bounce up with the market. And then look at that. Look at that. Literally, gee, these charts are exactly alike. Netflix and Tesla. And so 
It just tells you that most expect for them to miss on earnings. Now, do you wait for earnings? If you know how to do a, a really, really deep dive on a company and you know how to get in their financials and try to figure this thing out, then yes, you make money. If not, buy the rumor, sell the news. And that's what I do. For those of you that don't know what that is, that means that you purchase the stock based on a rumor that something is going to happen. That something is always earnings quarterly, right? But you sell it before the news come out. So I sell it before the earnings come out. This clearly shows me that um, I could have made money on both of these. How? Because I would have done puts on both of them over the last five days. And I would have made my money and I would have gotten out like I do 95, probably 98 percent of the time on earnings. Unless I know something, unless I know they're going to knock it out of the uh, park. But it's so choppy right now. And um, and with everything that's going on. Right. This really doesn't have anything to do with the ge geopolitical situation because we're looking back at last quarter. Right. And so. It just has to do with where we are right now. So most are not expecting uh, a good report on both, right? That's why it's selling off, right? And then there could be some profit taking before the earnings come out. So I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, I can't see. It's going to be very difficult uh, for me to see them both knock the ball out of the park this quarter. Right. That's very difficult. Now, it could happen, but uh, it's very difficult to see. But I have learned myself. I'm not telling you what to do. Don't fight the flow. If the flow is telling you that it's going down, then make money while it's going down. Don't wait for the destination and just hold until after the report, which is after closing bail, when you can't do nothing until the next morning, right? And so that's why I do it because I make smaller profits uh, more times rather than running the risk. Now, if you're the one that, you know, always called these earnings correctly and you've been knocking it out of the park, you need your own page and you need to be teaching everybody else, right? Now, I have had plays that I have held over and made a killing, but it's, it's I just don't sleep good at night good people. I just got to keep it real. Like I just don't, I'm just not, it's not that I don't sleep good at night. I'm crossing my fingers, my toes, my eyes and praying that they have a good earning. And I just don't like to do that. Right. So that's why you, uh, if you say, Hey, I don't know how to do puts and calls, then you need a new tool in your toolbox. Right. And so none of these are at a level that I'm buying either a uh, long term. I believe that Tesla, especially uh, if it breaks through support, that Tesla can continue to fall down into the, you know, the two teens, like 215, 214. I believe the Tesla could just break support and continue to fall at this point. Right. So let's look at um, let's look at NVIDIA really quick. Right. And then I have to run out of here. NVIDIA, uh, so you have Morgan Stanley and Citigroup both lowered their price targets for NVIDIA. You guys know that's going to have a negative effect, NVDA, on the stock, right? And so that was a uh, discussion this morning in the Patreon before opening bail. As we can see, NVIDIA is down 3.5% because of Morgan Stanley and Citigroup's lowering, uh, their price targets have been lowered. Why have their price targets been lowered? It's because the U.S. has restricted chip sales to China. That's why. And they were down 2% even in the pre-markets, okay? And so when you see negative news like that come out, you know, most of the times right at opening bell, you can do a put option right on the stock itself because you know it's going to fall. Right. 
And so for those of you that don't know how to do options, I know some people said, hey, Larry's turned into this options guy. Well, when you got a choppy market and it's hard to make money on long term plays, just holding the stock, then you need to put another tool in your toolbox. OK, if you need help with that, make sure you check out Stock Up You. Go ahead and uh, just click the top link below and let's get started. All right. Let's get started. Uh, the people that are in the Patreon are making a ton of money. The people that take the class understand, right? So just spend hundreds and save thousands and make tens of thousands. Now, I, you know, I get it, good people. Uh, I don't want to overstress it. There's a lot of free stuff on these internets, okay? For those of you that don't want to spend any money, information is everywhere. I beg you to go get more information. And then I'm going to end by saying this again. It is better not to put your money at risk than to lose it all just because you feel like you need to be in. When the market is really, really choppy, sometimes the best thing you could do is not trade at all until you see a rebound, right? Until you see it going up. Because that's the only way you can make money if you're just buying stock long term, then you buy it on the dips, right? But if you want to learn another skill and make money on the way down, then you need to uh, learn how to properly do options. OK, I'm going to leave it right there. I just don't want anyone to uh, lose any money. And I want you to know that there's money to be made. One of these days, I'm going to share some of the quotes that we are getting. All right. But I want to leave it right there. You guys pray for me. I got a busy, busy week. And uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll keep our eye on the market. We're going to be um, um, I'm going to be traveling right when closing bell happens. So we will probably talk about it either later today or first thing tomorrow. Right. Hey, have a blessed day. Live, love, laugh and learn.